Everything feels supersonic speed right now. It's amazing when you take time off. You come back and it's just like the, the speed of the ball is completely different from what it from what I remember it. I'll get used to it though. I remember I finished a match and I couldn't really walk uh, well. There was a lot of pain in, in my hip and it was really stiff. Uh, and after about six days, it still didn't loosen up completely. And I remember playing maybe two more matches after that and I knew something was really wrong. And we got the MRI and it showed that I had a torn labrum uh, and something called uh, femoral acetabular impingement. So it was basically a symptom of the joint and the hip when it moves, uh, there's a restriction to the motion. I made a decision that I needed to get the surgery because uh, I wasn't able to play and compete at the level that I needed to consistently on a daily basis. And uh, there was no, it didn't make sense for me to play it. 70, 80 percent. How's that? Feels better. Where do you feel that? Uh, a little bit in the, in the top of the groin here, but it's more of a, a pull. That's fine. That's very minor in the TFL. When I look back to where I was, Five weeks ago, I mean, and Mike will tell you, I would come in here, I'd, you know, the little guy in my head was panicking because, you know, I'd feel something here and there and I'd be like, what's going on? Is this normal? You know, are we doing the right thing? Just to kind of think back to where I was five weeks ago and where I am now is, it's exciting. It's exciting to see progress, you know? It's been a very rocky up and down roller coaster coming back from the injury and the surgery and um, he's always, uh, when we talk, you know, he's been great about reminding me that it's a process and that it's baby steps and that we're on the right track and, you know, even sometimes told me that I was actually ahead of where he thought I would be. So that's really important is to have that support of, of your team, you know, that's telling you and being very positive about things. Because it, it, it can be tough to be positive on your own and that's where your support team around you really helps you. Mentally, it's, it's been difficult just because I feel like I've been out of my element. You know, tennis is all I know. Um, I can't do what I love to do. And, you know, not, not being able to do what you love to do um, and really not being able to do anything about it, you've, you feel a bit hopeless. You know, I keep asking myself every night, will I ever play again? One day the hip feels great and you get all excited because you feel improvement. Then the next day you get out of the car and, you know, I can't walk. I've been so fortunate to have the support of, you know, my mom and my dad. If it wasn't for my dad and, and, and him putting in the time to spend with me on the court, you know, I don't know who would have been able to do that for me. Every piece of advice that he gives me goes straight to my heart. And I always, you know, I always look for approval in my dad. And so anything that he says to me is gold. He's a great kid. He's, yeah, yeah. I know I, it sounds like cliche, but uh, obviously Philip Bester, my son, this is how I look at him, not as, not as a tennis player. So just the, the very way how he handles he, all the obstacles, uh, how he keeps pushing forward. Uh, can be quite inspiring. He's sincere. He is. He's. He's just a beautiful human being. I wouldn't be in the position that I am today with the skills that I have, with the uh, the mental abilities that I have, if it wasn't for him ingraining it in me at a young age. Even if you know it was tough sometimes doing it. I wish I just understood a little bit more of how much knowledge he has, and and that ultimately at the end of the day he's just trying to help me to make me a better player, um, a better person because he loves me.
Kripek, nie zapomnij obkręcić rakiety. Check your time, okay? I was five years old. My parents were playing tennis recreationally. Uh, I hit a couple balls with my dad, and we sat down on the bench, and he goes, you seem like you, uh, you like to play tennis, and you're good at it. I go, I love tennis. He goes, well, what, what do you want to be, you know, when you, do you want to be a tennis player? I go, I want to be number one in the world. There was a lot of expectation on me when I was younger. A lot of that expectation I had on myself. And to go through all these things uh, as an athlete, as a, as a human being, it's, uh, it can be difficult. Uh, because especially with tennis, you're, you're out there by yourself. It's a sport where you play alone. Uh, everything is on your own shoulders. And as much as I love that, uh, it can be very difficult at times. Making uh, the finals of the Junior French Open was a huge uh, accomplishment for me just because one I was the first ever Canadian to do so as the years go by uh, you you kind of realize the pressure that's on your shoulders and uh, the older you get uh, that pressure kind of builds a little bit I remember being really nervous walking out onto the court. Um, you know, when I won a couple points and got my first, uh, got my first service game under my belt, I, I just really settled in very, very quickly. The atmosphere and you know everybody cheering, you know, really loud and being able to do it again at, at home and in front of so many people, it's, it was, it was, it was a very, very fun, special moment. It was incredible. Holy smokes. I feel like a fish out of water right now. I would say this is probably day one to starting back up tennis wise. You know, just being able to come out and feel the tennis court underneath my feet. I was just looking forward to it because I hadn't hit a proper tennis ball in a long time and it's engraved in my system to hit tennis balls, but uh, at the same time, you never know when you walk out after couple months and I was surprised actually to be honest how good my hit felt. Um, it bothered me a little bit when we were doing volleys but in general uh, it, it was you know just being out here and, and knowing that my hit feels good was uh, was probably the biggest surprise for me. I still have a long way to go um, but hopefully sometime in the summer I'll be back playing again. I still have a lot of work to do. I mean if it was up to me I'd start playing tomorrow I've gone through a lot of adversity, faced a lot of challenges, and um, I honestly think that this was probably the beginning of, uh, of a couple of very good years to come. It's all about uh, a man who is on a mission to complete his tennis journey. He seems to have a, this unfulfilled drive to keep going no matter what. You know, all the hard work that I've put in, um, is going to pay off. I love to play tennis so much um, and just being able to do it is, you know, is incredible.